Hey you guys, coming to you live from Boston and a view of Gillette Stadium, right from our newest hotel room. So I thought this would be a great opening scene for all of you Pats fans, of course, all of you non-Pats fans, but this is from our hotel room. And so, let me flip it around, not zoomed in. Hey guys, I'm gonna walk out here where there's better lighting. Can't really see anything. And go live early because we got our flight canceled, of course, right? So our first vacation together in over a year and a half, and we decided to spend it in a weekend in my home state area of New England, came to Sunday football. Let me turn this lights better. We're a tad bit tired. Um, so we were supposed to fly out tonight and our flights got canceled, right? And so a lot of little things when you go away with people can go wrong. A lot of little things can go wrong in your business. Everything's not going to be just the way you want it. People are probably gonna come up because I'm in the hobby, lobby area here. Um, things aren't gonna go just the way you want things, right? And so I always have the mentality that everything's supposed to happen for a reason. You can't control other people and you can't control what they do. You can't control if they're going to change. You can't control customers, team members, anyone in your business. So if things don't go exactly the way you want them to, or you hope that they do, then you just gonna have to, you kind of have to just go with the flow. I've been the one all weekend. I fully am aware that when you go away with people that people are gonna have different perceptions. People are going to have different plans. And I know I look completely tired right now, cause I am. Um, People are gonna have different plans. People, you can see the Gillette lights. People are gonna wanna do different things, go different places. And you may have this idea of how things are supposed to run or what's supposed to happen, but if things don't go your way, you have to believe in your heart that things are meant to be a certain way, that they're just supposed to line up a certain way because you're never gonna be able to control the people in your business. I had a team member message me today and say that she got a message from someone in her second or third line saying she didn't wanna be in her group anymore because um, she felt like she never saw her name listed on the team page. Well, we all know as our groups get larger, our teams get bigger, we're not gonna be able to please everybody. So the only thing that we can do is understand that concept, really. We have to know that we can't please everybody and we just have to promise, make a promise to ourselves, our teammates, our business, people in our lives, that we're just gonna be a better person every single day. Reacting to everyone that disappoints you or hurts your feelings um, only makes your life and business a little bit more unstable. So your Monday motivation for this week, you guys, is I'm gonna sit right down here, right here in the hotel here. Your Monday motivation for this week is to remember to expect adversity, um, expect people will break plans, expect that people will do opposite. I can't see any of your comments, there you guys are. Oh, so now I can see your comments. So tell me where you guys are watching from, first off. If you're watching the replay, um, please type replay in the comments. Yeah, that's, the cool thing about this, you guys, is that just like tonight, two or three hours before our flight, our flight got canceled. We had to go um, 40 minutes back to our hotel, our first hotel, get our bags, drive 40 minutes back the other way. And I thought to myself, it's not as planned. We could get mad. We could get angry. But who knows what's supposed to happen on a night that we didn't expect. Um, and it's popping up as I'm talking to you guys right now. It's saying flight, blah, 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 to Fort Lauderdale is canceled. The thing that makes me remember this the most, and this might be kind of sad to think about, but I remember when 9-11 happened, you guys, and maybe some of you can relate. I remember there was tons of people that were supposed to be in that building or tons of people that were supposed to be on those flights. 
and they were really upset at the time because they couldn't get to work or they couldn't get on those flights, fully knowing now that if they were on those flights or they were in that building, they wouldn't be here anymore. So this weekend, you know, we came to Boston with probably eight to 10 people. Some people didn't meet us when they were supposed to. Some people did their own thing. You just can't react because when you react to everybody else disappointing you, one thing that I've learned is that you can only pay attention to and react to your expectations. It might be a pain in the butt. It might be, yeah, we'd love to be on a plane right now and we'd love to be home. Um, but at the same time, it's never a bad thing to be in one of your most favorite places ever. Um, one more night with less responsibilities, um, dinner, you know, who knows? The cool thing that you have to remember is something good will always come out of something bad. If you truly believe that and realize that no matter what other people do, you can make the best of any situation. You can. You can make the best of when a team member says something to hurt your feelings, when your business doesn't go exactly the way it's supposed to go. You can make the best of any situation if you just look on the bright side of things. And I specifically try to do that when um, I go away. You guys, too, when you're with your families, when you're with your friends, um, the one thing to remember is if someone's constantly disappointing you, to place them a little different on your priority list. You know, you can love people from afar. You can love team members from afar. You can love best friends from afar. You can love family from afar. You don't have to get mad at them at every single thing, specifically if it's not going to change. I say that to people all the time. You can't make people change. Now, if people say to you, what did I do to upset you? or I'd love to make things better, then you can point out in a nice way, like this makes me feel X, Y, Z, right? Um, I just really think that many of you, many direct sellers, many people in business can lead a much better, happier life if you don't necessarily lower your expectations, but you only depend on yourselves and once upon a time that was super hard for me to do. I expected for other people to make me happy. I expected other people to make my business better. Um, I started changing my mindset when the same people kept disappointing me. And when I decided I wasn't gonna expect those things from those people anymore and just still loved them. You know, what's funny you guys is if you love them but you lower those expectations from them meaning you don't expect to get anything return what's cool is you're never disappointed and sometimes they raise the bar for themselves that can be team members that can be family members that can be anybody you know if i there's so many examples of this where i just started depending on myself and what's cool about depending on yourself is you raise the bar for yourself as well. You start seeing yourself, wow, I had no idea that I could, could accomplish that. I used to wait for someone else to do those things for me. I used to wait for someone else to make me happy. When the definition of insanity, you guys, is repeating the same behavior over and over and over again, getting the same result and not changing it. You know, especially like if you're away on vacation and you invite the same family members and the same family members keep disappointing you, it's either time to expect that they're going to disappoint you or not go away with them, right? So they have to realize on their own the type of behavior that they're conducting. They have to also, you know, I tell my friends, my family all the time, if there's people that aren't filling your bucket, quit filling theirs. It's not fair for any of you to give and give and give and give when people aren't giving back to you as well. And that's really taking a good look. Um, it's the same thing we say about our businesses, right? You guys want, need to invest in the 20% of your team that's actually active and doing the work and want to promote. That's where you should be spending your time, not constantly trying to hold on to people that are going inactive every month. So you can't motivate people. You can't change people. You can only change your reaction to them and your actions to them. So if this is relatable to some of you guys, share it out to your team. I think a lot of us um, 
get super disappointed and super upset when we're giving more and we're not getting back. And that can kind of hover over us and can make us feel less than. It can make us feel like crap, honestly. It can make us feel unmotivated. Um, but I love the idea of always being able to say that I know I gave 150% in every relationship. Um, we have to always also take an account for what's going on in their lives, what's happening. You know, we can't just say, well, they didn't fill my bucket. Um, they didn't fill my bucket, so I'm done with them. I'm also asking all of you to have a little bit of grace. Knowing what to expect, not constantly filling people's buckets, but fully realizing that you shouldn't ruin your day, ruin your vacation, ruin your business, being mad or upset because you're getting the same reaction from people, you can only do so much. So have a good time with the people that are there with you. Have fun and invest in the people that are investing in you. Take a good look around and be self-aware because you could miss out on a whole bunch of memories or a whole bunch of cool friends and people that actually wanna be around you and yet you're letting that all slip away with you trying to give 150% to people or teammates or business owners that are not trying to give back to you. So it's so something, and it's not just, it's not, you know, some people say, so accept their behavior, not at all. You don't have to accept anyone's behavior. You just have to not let it affect where you are, um, affect memories that you could have, affect friends that you could have. You have to maybe get it off your chest, tell the people in your lives how you're feeling, and then make a decision. Don't expect it to change. I remember when I had to change my life significantly a couple years ago, I had to accept the fact that no matter what I said, the situation wasn't gonna change. There was nothing that I could do. They had to change it on their own, you guys. So you can't control other people. You can't motivate other people. It's your job as a business owner to be the trainer, be the support system. It's your job as a family member to be the best friend, you know, the, again, the support system. But it's not your job to do everything and it's not your job to constantly just react to behavior that you know is going to happen over and over and over again. Can some of you relate to this? Like how delayed are our comments? Can some of you relate? I feel bad when I see people struggle and just constantly reacting, yet want to be around certain people so much, and yet it's just heartbreaking. Um, sometimes you have to take a step away. Sometimes you just have to love them from afar, and I'm not saying cut off, there's a difference between cutting off communication. I'm saying, you know, I'll be here when you need me. I love you no matter what, but it's hurtful when I constantly want to be there for you or be around you or hang out with you and you're not giving me that in return. So that doesn't feel good for people, right? That's just unmotivating and crappy, honestly. So from that to just situations in your life or business that happens, missed flights, changed flights, things that aren't in your itinerary, sometimes are a good thing. Sometimes are a great thing, who knows? Everything is supposed to happen for a reason. So. Like I've told you guys on these lives before, everything is figure outable. You'll figure every single thing that happens that goes wrong out. Whether it's a new flight or a new friend you meet or a dinner or a nice memory, life is all about the memories that you create, you guys. So don't get caught up in the minutia of things that are a pain in the butt. You're always gonna have adversity. You're always gonna miss planes. You're always gonna have hotels that cancel, Ubers that don't show up, things that don't fall in line with exactly what you have planned. But ask yourself, hmm, why did this happen? Why did this happen right now? Like what cool thing is gonna happen because of this adversity right now? You can't control the situation, but you can always control your reaction. So it's one more, more, more night in Boston I've had to make new arrangements with my dogs, but on the other side, it's one more night in Boston with a nice dinner, Monday night football, going live with all of you, finishing up some work, another night of not being back to reality, which is not a bad thing, but I think if you always think of it as adversity can sometimes get you to a great memory or a great place, it's a great way to deal with whatever is going on. So remember, 
Stop trying to change everybody else. Stop trying to motivate people. Be the glass half full girl in the room that attracts other glass half full girls. Always be positive and always think that something bright and something wonderful and something sunny is going to come out of whatever is happening. So if you have those negative Nellies on your team, if you have those people that just can't see the sunshine through the clouds, if you have those people that just always think that there's doom and gloom around them, share this with them and ask them to try to, after the doom and gloom is over, after the bad adversity is over, try to name five things that came out of the adversity. Try to name the five things that came out of you know, you being disappointed with a certain situation or a certain person. Patty says, usually the funniest memories happen when things don't go as planned. And that's the whole point of this tonight. It's never, whatever's happening, it's never the most horrible thing in the world. Um, it could be the best weekend ever. So here we sit, hey Dale, here we sit in the hotel looking at, you can't see it from here now, Gillette Stadium, about to go to dinner, about to have a wonderful dinner and get on a plane at 11 tomorrow. And instead of being grumpy and mopey, we'll go make the best of it. And so if you have those people on your team, you guys, if you have those people in your life, just realize that most of the time, how they act or what they do is not about you. It's about them. So I've told my mom this before, I think. We've had conversations where I'm like, just give people always your best you. Give family members the best you. Be the positive person in the bunch. That's who people are gonna wanna be around. That's who people are attracted to. So remember, there's always something good to come out of pain in the butt people, pain in the butt situations, you can always make the sun shine through, you guys. So I hope this hits home for some of you. I was trying to think with Kimberly what I was gonna talk about tonight, and I thought this would be perfect reminder for some of you that just, you know, it's kind of, um, you know, kind of crappy feeling when you just wish some people or some situations were different. Just fully know you can control you and that's pretty powerful so you guys keep being every single day the most amazing you and I promise even in the worst situations the best memories and the best situations can come out of them so I am gonna go hang out down there go have some dinner and I hope you guys can relate to some of this share it out to your teams and um, you guys are amazing and you just have to remember every single thing that happens is leading you to an amazing, an amazing place. So you guys have an amazing week. I hope this uh, touches base for some of you guys, and we will see you tomorrow. Have a great night, guys.